Hello people, it's Gamer number 98 with another extra episode of Let's Play Super Paper Mario. If you're wondering where I am, I am in Flopside. Why? For reason. Because on the basement floor there's this part and there are some hidden treasure chests. One of them has a golden card, a card that allows you to play a hidden arcade game. In the second treasure chest there is... Another cooking disc. Okay. So now I'm gonna go to the flip side equivalent of this area, so I'll meet you there. Here we are. And I missed a secret here. There. The internet card. And also remember Captain Gills from the beginning of chapter 4? We left him here. Look, he grew up and he's been eating things and having babies. All alone? Oh well. Okay, here's the cafe. Oh, and there's the internet. Remember him from chapter 2? Well, he actually does something pretty neat here. If you give him a few coins, he'll, he'll play one of the game's sound... one of the game's music. It's... you have no dis you have no control over which one. It's random, unfortunately. Fractail battle. Hey, not bad. And this is also how the OST was ripped from the game, so that's why there's always that um, text sound at the beginning. So that's not what we're here for, though. If we go in 3D, we find this pipe here. And this leads to a nice little place just to chill out at. Ooh, I am most pleased another gaming customer has found us. Welcome to the Palace of Gaming Pleasure, the Arcade. I am the master of this fine establishment. You may call me the Interchet. It is a pleasure to rob you. I mean, meet you. <laughs> rob me of my free time. No, that the introduction's out of the way. Let me tell you about this place. This is the arcade, a place for gamers to enjoy gaming. To play games, you must first purchase flipside tokens, which look an awful lot like rubies. But you cannot return tokens for coins, so be careful. So be careful, gamer. Needle entry. You will love it, gamer. So yeah, you get the tokens from the interchat here for coins. And also you can get prizes. Yes, I do. Hold on a moment, gamer. Is that a golden card you clutch in your hand? Pardon my insolence, valued gamer. Please access our elite game immediately. You can play a new game. By default, there are three games here, but now we've unlocked a fourth one. So then, valued gamer, let's buy some tokens. I'm going to buy... Yeah. I did not want to do that. I'm going to buy 50. Okay, that should be enough to check out all the games. So, it's this door we go through to play the games. So, this is, we got four games here. We got Forget Me Not, Mansion Patrol, Tilt Island, and Hammer Whacker, which is the secret one we got from that gold card. Forget Me Not is a memory game. With this, you use the Wii Remote's pointer. It's just a memory game. You pretty much get the idea. Me, 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 me! Restorious. You get three tries per round. If you make three mistakes in the same round, that's when the game ends. Oh, I couldn't remember that one. I think... It, oh, oh, you sneak. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, I, oh, wait, we're gonna... If you get a star, the cards will flip over momentarily. Now, normally, I'm not very good at memory games. 
to tell you the truth. Especially since this one gets really hard really fast. And I did not mean that in a that's what she said joke before you say it, Deku Scrub. Eeeh! <laughs> incorrect! Oh, yeah, like I needed that. Oh, they shifted. Stop trying to trick me out. Oh. You could have told me I was wrong quicker, you know. What am I doing? That's stupid. Oh, you idiot. Game over. That was the greatest attempt at this game ever. I get 13 flip side tokens for that. Okay, let's try Mansion Patrol. This is another game that uses the Wii Remote Pointer. You just gotta shoot the booze. You get free lives. And also, the A and B buttons pretty much do the same. If you shoot multiple booze in a row without missing, you get more points. I missed. How did I miss? That looked like a direct hit. Come on, booze. Come out of hiding. I won't hurt ya. I lied. I will hurt ya. Don't shoot the toad. He gave us some points. I know it's toad really does not appear much in this game. There was one toad at the start of the game. And there was that toad here. There's also a card of toad. But that's about it. Round clear. Now let's start round two. At a certain point, you're going to start having a dark booze up here. There. I think they're faster than the regular booze. Yeah, let's get a good combo going. And also, there's no rapid fire. Auto aim, auto fire, whatever. You know, you hold down the button and you continuously shoot. Oh! The flower gets you rapid fire. And you don't have to press any buttons. It's all automatic, and also you don't lose your combo. Also, look at that. You notice there's a little shatter on the screen if you miss. That's pretty neat. Yeah, wonderful is right. Oh no, I'm about to get hit. You've taken damage. Now to end this in style. Thanks, Toad. Fire away. Now to end this in a truly epic manner. Dark Boo, you scare! It's super effective! Finished! And what does that get us? Yay, nines, not a lot. Okay, Tilt Island. This is my personal favorite of the four. Here you just hold the Wii Remote sideways and you just gotta tilt it to the left and right. Collect the fruit. Collect the fruit and other food. To move on to the next round while avoiding the enemies. If you can get this if you can get the same if you get if you get nothing but the same kind of uh, thing, then you get more points. The desserts are worth the most, but they're the rarest. All right, got nothing but those, so you get a, you get massive points. There's 20 rounds. The game ends when you get hit three times, when you lose all your lives down there, or if you clear all 20 rounds. And for every several rounds, you require to get more fruit, or well, more food. And also, you can fall off. It's very easy to do so as well. If you're playing as Bowser, this minigame is pretty tough since Bowser's a big target and can get hit easily and also he moves slower. Just gotta avoid the enemies, which I did do. Wow. Did not do. Oh, that flower, the flower. The flower's one of the power-ups. I think the flower makes you do a 
Yeah, it does. If you grab a flower, you do a spinning attack for a few seconds so that you can destroy the enemies for a short time. And the moment you stop spinning, that's when the effect wears off. SUICIDE! So yeah, that's Tilt Island. Yeah, 13 is a good number. Hammer Whacker. Oh, and once again, you just hold it vertically. I'm holding it vertically. Oh, vertically. <laughs> Yeah, you just have to, you, here you swing the wheel remote like a hammer to knock the shells back. The closer it is to you when you hit it, the more points you get. If you get it three times, the game is over. There's going to be something somewhat similar to this in my upcoming Let's Play where you have to swing the wheel remote like a hammer to knock things. And that's probably not a good enough clue for you lot. Well yeah, I will be revealing what the next Let's Play will be at the end of this one. I might have a conclusion video or something. I mean, I've still got four things I plan to do as bonus extra episodes. I'm going to try them. I don't know if I will actually succeed. I have succeeded in doing them at least once though, but I don't know if I'll be able to do it on this save file. What I'm going to do is the flip side pit of 100 trials. I'm just going to speed my way through that. I'm also going to do the flop side pit of 100 trials, which I have not actually done myself because it really is difficult. That's why I'm going to stock up on all the coins so I can get some Ultra Shroom Shakes from the flop side uh, store. I'm also going to do Samus Kingdom, the duel, the duel of a hundred. I have also done that, and it's a checkpoint at each 25 Samus guys. Of course, that's probably the most boring part because you're just fighting for a hundred, a hundred of nearly the same enemy. Only they're stronger, faster, and also those annoying ninjas. Swing the hammer! You failed it. I'm also going to cover the maps. There's a guy in Flopside who sells you maps. Of course they cost coins, and you're going to need a lot of coins to get everything. And they give you a variety of rewards, these maps. Sometimes they give you rare cards, sometimes they give you, well, not so rare cards, they give you some items. So I'll be covering those. I might do the Flopside Pit of 100 Trials last, since I consider that the hardest thing that I plan to do. But I should warn you, now, there's no guarantees that it will happen, because I might epic fail or something and probably get it on camera. DIE! Thank you for dying. Mario fainted. And that gets us 13 tokens, not bad. Alright. Let's leave this dump. No, it's not a dump, I like the place. I still prefer um, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Doors Arcade, though. The games are better there. I guess I'll stop here then. Well, until next time I guess. Wait, not just yet. This is the entrance to the Pit of 100 Trials. The flip side version. You see it? You ain't getting past that. Well, anyway, we can do this instead. Talk his Welderberg. A hundred coins to create a shortcut pipe that will lead you from the bottom of Flipside Tower to down here. <laughs> He's tinkering down there. Okay, so that's the third blue pipe opened up. Now it's time to stop the video for real. So I'm going to hit that save block and I'm going to say until next time, see you later people.